What is going on today, guys? In this part four of our Ghost of Shima series, we're going to be diving into what goes into liberating a province, particularly the Ogawa Dojo here. Pretty much this serves a lot of importance in terms of how we go about liberating and freeing up different territories controlled by the Mongols across Tsushima. Once we do this, this allows for the, the previous inhabitants to kind of make their way in. The plan here is we're going to stay a little stealthy. Take out this guy real fast. There we go. Alright, so like I said, we're going to stay stealthy here at least initially and then... Depending on how chaotic it may or may not get, we'll go from there. See if we can get some Michael Jordan hops again going. I think we're good. Look at the distance here. Ooh. Jim. We look them in the eye. With courage. We cowards strike from the shadows. Forgive me, Uncle. Well, damn, alright. I guess maybe I shouldn't assassinate. I think we're still gonna assassinate. Yo! Alright, so as you go through these. Most of the objective, like for this one, is we're going to be removing three Sashimono banners. Sorry if I butchered that in my pronunciation. Uh, and then once we collect the three, here's one of them right here. Uh, you'll then liberate the territory. At least it'll open up a cutscene, which we'll dive into again. I don't like spoiling things for you guys. But the first objective is we need to clear these out. We'll also have to clear out some of the Mongol inhabitants that are currently taking over the area. Some of the guards. And then I, if I believe correctly, we will also be having to fight a leader. He didn't see anything. Pulling arrows. Alright, it looks like, based on that arrow, we didn't lose them, so we'll go ahead and we'll go loud at this point, move through this dojo, and then liberate the area. And then we'll move on to the next main mission of the day, which we're going to focus on the blacksmith mission around Yuna's brother. So I hate games where you have to fight dogs, but this is one of those games where, for the most part, these dogs are going to try to come after you. It's not really an avoidable option. So it looks like there was a decent amount of archers back there. We're going to roll through here, just kind of pick up some supplies, sorry. And then... We're going to make our way in, try to find the rest of these banners and go from there. Oh, okay. Alright, we got to redeem ourselves from yesterday's video. It was pretty bad. So as you can see, you can move through these stances relatively quickly. You're gonna little slow down. Nice. Again, you can block if you get it upgraded. Always clean the blade. Oh, spoke too soon. Except I can just use an arrow on this guy. To shoot a little faster than that, buddy. Okay, it looks like I cleared everybody out, so they're just gonna tell me where the banners are at this point. Still gonna check around for everything here. 
did not go to Rio. Spoke too soon. You could be soon though. I also got an air and some kunai out of that. Some iron. Slept through the battle, man. Again, he find the dogs, but at least it was quick. So you'll see these, you can open them. I, I'm not sure if I remember if opening them in this fashion is quieter and it doesn't bring attention to yourself, but you can always just knock these down with a sword also. Not that good night. There we go. guys in rough conditions. Okay, I believe we just need to collect this and one more banner. So I'm taking you guys on a loop here. Just want to clear out this area as much as we can. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of banners you're going to be collecting throughout the map. And as you do, if I recall correctly, it's going to get you different um, saddles for your horse. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. I couldn't think for some reason. Alright, we'll grab this last one here, and then the next part is we'll have to blow up their fire barrel or their black powder support. Okay, if I believe correctly, it should be back over here. Yep. So we'll just set this off, and then I'll activate a cutscene for us here. Alright, so yeah, we do gotta fight a leader. pretty drawn out there okay so when you're working against these leaders here the warlord is what they're called this is the most of them are. when you're fighting off these territories what you're gonna notice a lot of these guys are gonna have similar combos and the biggest thing when you're fighting through and you're increasing your difficulty is kind of remember what their two minutes are here so like me for example their bud dogar Hopefully that's how you pronounce that. Uh, he comes in with a quick attack and then he goes with a unblockable. As you can see right there. Sometimes he's changed it up, he's gone with the unblockable first and then he goes with the quick attack. But, as you can see there. Biggest thing is trying to parry the first one, open him up, and yeah, as you can see, we can get this quick hit in. Alright, same thing. We could observe this guy. Or maybe we could have if he was around and I didn't see him. Honestly, he probably was, and I didn't do a very good job scouting.
Alright, so we're the people's hope now. Comes with a health increase and a second ghost weapon. Uh, you got a couple of them. You got the black powder bomb, smoke bomb, I believe a sticky bomb. And uh, the last one, I believe, is a wind chime or some kind of... Yeah, wind chime. So these all you can upgrade. Wind chime is probably, obviously the least enjoyable one because for the most part you're really just trying to lure guys away. I'm a big fan of the sticky bomb here so we're gonna go with this one. This one personally has a lot again when you're trying to disperse large crowds of individuals this has a lot of effect when you got them all clustered up throw it in. You're gonna get some hit damage. Sometimes you get knockback damage too which opens them up to the different combos you can use. Uh, and then we're gonna use our skill point here too. The roll one is a really good one. I personally like that when you're trying to get through different areas and you're climbing shrines and things. So that makes it easier so you don't die on the highest falls. But I think we're mostly going to go here with the water stance. It's got a really cool combo. Hold triangle and tap it three times. And for most of them, you're going to take them out in that combo alone. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and switch back to Traveler's Attire. You know how much, based on how much I've talked about it, that I like it. Um, we're going to make... Or Sticky Bomb or Primary. Which I believe you can hold right trigger and you can switch between them in battle. So yeah, as you can see you can switch between your ghost weapons by holding the right trigger and using the directional pad. Alright, so once you finish those off, as you can see, they shake away. That should give you a fast travel point, but like you can see now, we have 3 out of 24 ter territories liberated. And we're going to head over to the Broken Blacksmith. Call it what it is. Quick wind up, in case you haven't watched the first couple episodes. Uh, this is going to be pertaining to Yuna's brother. We're going to try to rescue him from the uh, Mongol occupation. Which will actually fun enough, or exciting enough, will give us a new tool. It's going to make Traverse a little bit more fun and exciting in this game also. Uh, this is going to be quite a hike. Yeah, 2.5 kilometers. Okay, so just freshening up, going through everything that's happened so far up to this point. As we go up and fight these guys. Stand Mongol invasion. Which we all know. Yeah. I guess we'll show the stamp. I, I accidentally pressed that a little too fast there. So I apologize there again. Okay, but in short, so far, we've had the Mongol invasion. We had uh, Lord Adachi was taken out of the opening cutscene, and that is who was with Masako Adachi, if you haven't made the connection there. Shimmer was captured, after Shimmer was captured, we fought at Komodo Beach, we're taken out. After taken out, Yuna, who is where we're going to meet now, uh, a thief, in essence, of Yarikawa, which we'll dive more into that territory later on. Uh, she bandaged us up. We went back to fight for the honor of our family. Obviously got to take a quick scenery in here. Daily scenery check. Uh, but after we went back, we then fought uh, Kotun Khan. Khan, I think I said that completely wrong, to be honest with you. Uh, after we lose again, we're thrown off the bridge and all that fun stuff happens. We meet up with Yuna again. Start to create kind of like a Red Bull's tail, a rebellion that we're building up in. Uh, we've helped a couple tales. We had Sensei Ishikawa, we had Masako Adachi, we've helped Yuna, we've liberated a couple territories up to this point. Uh, not right now, Adachi. Funny enough, that's who we were talking about. We're going to upgrade our armor, though. We were talking about with the Traveler's Attire, we're going to do the bump here. And this is going to make it so that when traveling, it's going to clear more fog for us. Looks like 20% more, so as we move through the map, the gray dispersal pattern that you see on the map that shows where you've gone will be a little bit wider and it'll show you nearby objectives and markers that you might have missed when going around the map. 
Uh, but those are all the things we've done with Liberty Territory. We're going to make our way, like I said now, to Eunice Brother. Once we get out to Eunice Brother, we'll start to st start a new sequence of main story missions and go from there. Uh, it looks like we have a shrine here. It might not be a bad idea to just do a little bit of sign content, kind of to fill in the gap here. But if I'm being honest with you, I think... Yeah, this shrine most likely probably is going to be one that we can't do until later on. So that is something I would recommend. Some of the side content is going to be locked behind different missions and different content and different abilities and equipment. Show me the mighty samurai. Okay, we slowed down this time. This isn't going to give you the option for the attack now. It probably will have for the first couple ones that we do, but after that, it's going to be more of a timing base, and you want to make sure that within there in a certain radius of you, that's when you're going to swing. Alright, clean the blade. I don't know what was going on here, but... Like I said, this is a hike, but the views are always beautiful in this game. It's one of the few games that I, I will take my time to sit back and actually explore. and Especially with dark little side twists like this, which you will see scattered across the map. Again, feudal time in Japan. Not very uh, sunshine and rainbows. But our favorite pastime is picking flowers, so we're going to make the most of it. Okay, we got a large group here. I'm gonna grab some flowers. Like I said, for business, we gotta tend to them. Alright, so we did get a little slowdown timer there with the attack now option again. Okay, so like you saw, we knocked one dude down. He's staggered. The other guy's still staggered. The heavy brute. The sticky bombs are easily one of the better items to use in the game, at least starting out. Especially if you're struggling with combat. Okay. Like I told you before, the water stance will guard break these guys. It matters, but. Uh, they will guard break the heavy berserk guys even with shields. Always find the end suffering option kind of comical. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel for them, I guess. I don't know. Alright, we're still a ways out here. But like I said, the plan is that we will hit some side content on the way. Looks like actually we got. Mmm, smoke to see. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Time to avenge my previous death. Let's go, man. Oh, you're gonna run away. Alright, I won't chase you down. Sorry, when it's so nice, you gotta do it twice, right? The views, they just don't get old. Colors, all of it. Yeah, it looks like we got a little town up here. We're still just about, I mean, still a little over halfway there. There's a bamboo strike right here, hold up. 
So we'll go ahead and do this. It's only take us like five seconds. Gives you the increase of the resolve. We just got the bump recently, so we need to do two more before we get the other circle of resolve there. Yo! Man. Weather just went complete 180 on us here. real fast. So this leads to another shrine. Again, we're going to try to avoid this for the most part. We might check this one out, depending on if it looks like one that we can traverse and get done without. I don't want to, again, don't want to spoil it, but one of the next tools we unlock. I'm going to play the flute here and demonstrate also, too, this change in scenery. So as you can see, the storm's still a little rough, but it clears up pretty quick. I mentioned that in one of the previous videos, if that's one of those things that you hate to see the doom and gloom, that's uh, overcast over Sashima Island, all you really need to do is put a flute. For the most part, I've seen the mechanic work relatively well, but sometimes it does kind of miss. We're gonna follow this guy and just see where he takes us real fast. Mm, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Cause I don't think, yeah, just the arrows here. All right, so that's the side mission bar us too. We're not gonna worry about that. Anymore. Just under 900 meters out here. We're getting close finally. Go ahead and do this real fast. 4 1, cheeks coming in. <sighs> Maybe I'll take that Mongol bastard's head. Or drown him. No. I'll put the torch to him. Just like he did to Lord Adachi. Well, it took a pretty dark twist and turn really quick. Okay, so we're about 700 me 780 meters out at this point. I feel like we've been trekking across this whole part of Tsushima now for a good 10-15 minutes, so... We may hold off on any of the side content that comes our way. And we're not going to have to worry about them. Yeah, we got a fox on up here, but we're gonna go ahead and just hold off for now. All in all, what's everyone thinking so far of the game? I personally, from the day I first played it until now, it seems to kind of carry the same effect of and well factor. I'm really hoping we do get the second game. We've I've heard a lot in terms of the hype around it. I don't know that it's been necessarily confirmed yet. I try to keep up on updates for the most part with a lot of big games in terms of hype. I'm a big fan of kind of not spoiling the process for myself as well as other people that like to enjoy the game. So I try to avoid that as much as I can in this playthrough series as well. 
feel like it takes away a little bit from the overall impact of certain moments in the game. And I don't know, when I think of gaming, gaming really is just one of those nostalgic factors for me that I've enjoyed since I was a kid. And we didn't really have YouTube or any of those other big video sites to kind of spoil it for us. And if you had anything, you got a review from a Game Informer magazine. Coming on just under 100 meters now. And then we'll meet with Yuna and kind of go from there. I wasn't. Taka's counting on us. I love the kid, but this is too dangerous. It will never work. We'll make it work. Mr. Samurai? You can call me Lord Sakai. <gasps> Forgive me, my lord. I am Kenji, upstanding merchant, renowned sake brewer, and the best swindler on the island. That's why he's going to help us rescue my brother from Azamo Bay. That town's a fortress. If the Mongols took it, we'll need an army to penetrate the walls. Or a single delivery of sake. <laughs> It'll never work. Get your sake ready. We'll discuss the plan on the move. <laughs> Let's have a drink first. Talk this through. Now, Kenji. Guess I didn't want to take the edge off a little bit before invading a Mongol base. When we get close to the town, you can hide in the cart with the sake. The Mongols won't search it? Not anymore. It's the same sake delivery I always sell them. They love my dars. Dars, Mughal, give a Dars now! You've been doing business with the enemy. I keep the Mongols drunk, and they let me keep my head. Give me Dars. Oh, Seth, you sure you want to go through with this? Anything for Taka. How bad is the occupation in Azoma Bay? A few people fought back. The ones left alive are prisoners. Slaves, but you never saw Taka. No, but someone's been working the forge the past few days. Maybe it's your brother. How long have you two known each other? Since I was too young to know better, I was just starting to brew sake. Sold Yuna my first batch, <laughs> tasted like piss, but it was cheap. For a while, I tried to get Taka's help selling it. Turned out he was too soft. People told him sob stories, and he'd give them sake free of charge. Mongols. Damn. You two better get in the cart. There aren't many. I can handle them. No, Jin. Taka is so close. Please. All right. Yuna's always ruining the fun, I feel. I guess we'll hide instead. Get ready. They might search the cart. You said they don't do that. The town gates. I've never seen them this far out here. Dars! Dars for Azamo Bay! Dars! Hurry up! Dars! 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 Just a little farther. What was all that screaming? Doesn't matter. Keep it down. Is that what Taka's going through? Your brother's a skilled blacksmith. They won't treat him like that. You don't know that. No, I'm pretty sure he's right. A lot of times of war and strife, blacksmiths were hard to come by. Is it just me or... I feel like they kind of dropped the ball with not... Showing us in the subtitles what the guys are saying, at least. Whew. I can't believe this worked. 
This is where we part ways. Keep the Mongols drunk and distracted. I'll do my best. Stay safe, Genji. And you, Lord Sakai. Taka's waiting for us. Let's go. Once we're done, I'll meet you at the crossroads behind town. We need a vantage point to scout ahead. This way. Remember, no alarms. We do this quietly. All the prisoners suffer. Got it. So one of the dilemmas a lot of people have in this game. He's in charge. A slaver. Bastard. He's inspecting the prisoners like they're horses. He might lead us to Taka. Follow him. So I got completely distracted there. But a lot of the issues with this game, a lot of concerns with the game is, like you saw in the earlier scene with Lord Shimura, the ability to decide if you're going to be good or bad. In moments like this, obviously, it's kind of evident that you're going to be forced to be stealthy, take the quiet road, and not do the honorable samurai approach. So that's just an aspect of the storyline that is just going to be kind of unavoidable. It's just going to make you feel bad the whole time, though. Say, we're not losing sight of him. We know exactly where he's going. Just waiting our time. Okay, so like we discussed in the first episode, rooftop exploration is pretty big in this game, especially when it comes to the stealth aspect and being undetected. The game sets it up pretty well and allows for you to go from spot to spot. Like you can see here, we've been able to trek the rooftop here for most of the tailing of this guy. What is problem? Your blacksmith, Taka. His work is shoddy. I think he's sabotaging you. I know it. Taka's here. He is only blacksmith. No, I am a blacksmith too. And I do much better work. I cannot beat you. I get rid of him. But be ready to prove yourself. That bastard. He'll kill Taka. Yeah, they did a pretty good job illustrating just the lengths people go to in this game to stay alive. Market's full of Mongols. We can't lose the slaver if he reaches Taka first. Stay close, you know. I'll find a way through. All right, so it's looking like we should work our way left, but I'm gonna try and just work my way stealthily and quickly to the right. So we gotta make sure we don't raise the alarm here. So assassinations in public, fighting in public, no bueno. I think with the guys underneath they're distracted, I should be able to just roll under here. We're going to treat this like the first episode and uh, kind of just a straightforward path here and hope no one sees me, I guess. Because that's not an option. 
And we've already committed. So yeah, we're gonna go behind this guy and just have to move quick enough and everyone's distracted, they won't see us. Let's do it. Ooh, that was close. Okay, there's no way around up top here. Let's check this upstairs real quick. Alright, so we got a record. I don't think I want to sneak downstairs. And we can't get out that window. It doesn't look like this side's gonna wrap around either. So I think what we'll do is we'll go out the original side we were looking at and then hopefully be able to take this guy out without being seen. I think we're gonna be good. Work from the shadows, and this is going to be a nice and quick dash. No, please. I need to rest. It's Taka. Please! <laughs> Safe now. We need to move. You can't. They'll catch us, just like the others. This is Lord Sakai. He'll protect us. I need you to trust me, Tucker. I need your help. I'll try, my lord. There's a gate nearby. Then that's where we break out. They found the slaver. They'll kill us. We need to hide. No, keep moving. We can climb those crates. The throw shots are really in this game. Where are we going? Kenji's waiting for us at a crossroads. Kenji's with you? If he made it out alive. I'm going to take the stealth route here. Let them all run straight to the base. Just being practical here, you know. Injured Taka. He's been kept in a camp for who knows how long now. Just trying to help him out. Speaking of, we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing. Go stealth again. They're clearly out in full force. Oh. 
forces. They're coming for us. Get in the tall grass and stay down. It's Kenji! Taka! You made it! Were you followed? No, but we can't go back to my place. It's crawling with Mongols. We should go. We have to put some distance between us and Azamo Bay. Hmm? Haven't seen a Mongol since dawn. I think we're clear. We need to figure out where to go next. There's a place up ahead where you can see most of Izahara. Everyone all right? I could use a drink. And some sleep. I can help with one of those. Taka, you've been quiet. First time in days, I haven't felt like I was about to die. My lord, I am grateful. But how do you know Kenji and my sister? I owe you know my life. <laughs> we have something in common. I'm glad we can all joke about our near-death experiences. Way to grieve, right? I'm not built for riding all night. Komatsu is just over that ridge. They have a forge. One of the best on the island. Good place to make tools. Maybe something to get gin over the walls of Castle Canada. What do you say, Taka? My lord, I'll do anything to repay you for freeing me. Thank you. Taka, Kenji, get some rest. We can't stay here long. How are you doing? I have my brother back. He's shaken up. Can you get him to Komatsu in one piece? With food and rest, he'll be fine. Your brother wasn't the only prisoner in Azomo Bay. You're going to save them. And make their captors suffer. Good. Right for Komatsu Forge. I'll join you when I can. Jin? Thank you. Jin really knows how to chill, huh? What a vibe. Alright, so I think what we're going to end up doing here is we're ultimately going to make our way down towards Asmo Bay. And that's where we're going to kick off our next episode. But to wrap this one up, what we'll do is, on our way, we'll go ahead and we'll hit up that fox then that we passed up earlier. And then maybe, uh, I think there's either a shrine or something we can stop by also, and we'll do that. Alright, let's get rolling. Go ahead. Let's 
bird's nice enough to bring us to exactly what we're marking, I think. What a good bird. Thanks, bud. So we'll follow our fox friend. We'll get the charm boost. And then I believe there's a pillar somewhere nearby. Which, if I recall collect correctly, will give us uh, katana and dagger covers. Yep, it's so a pillar of honor. This is the one that we're going to be rolling up on. Alright, one more and then we get a minor charm slot. So yeah, the Pillar of Honor is right behind us, and we're going to get a sword kit for it. It's looking like... Probably go back the way we just came, actually. Yeah, there's a little rock face there. Alright. Mm. For some reason, this isn't cooperating, so bear with me, everyone. I'm not really sure what's going on here, so we'll try this again, I guess. For some reason, it's not like we get pass up this. There we go. Alright, we're good. Little buggy. But we're making it work. Also, that bird was actually bringing us to the Pillar of Honor here. Apologize, man. So, the Mamushi Venom cover actually looks kind of sleek with the teal rope on it. Honestly, we'll go ahead and equip it for now. Looks pretty snazzy, if I don't say so myself. And then we got one more point, so we'll probably do some parry related. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this one. Game mod resolve by using a parry or perfect parry. Big fan of that. Alright, so next episode, like I said, we'll, we'll make our way down into Asma Bay. Help the prisoners that are down there. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please don't forget to leave a like. Leave a comment down below what you guys like to see more. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time.